I am Harinarayan Upadhyaya. Uh, today in the Math Art Studio, I would like to welcome all of you in my session. Today also we will have the geometrical properties of uh, geometric figures and in this one we are discussing today about the square. In a sheet of paper, draw a square. I have the outline here, I would like to overwrite on that one. In now this is the square and the <coughs> area of the square is L square actually it comes very easily by it itself is a rectangle its area is length into breadth length and breadth are equal that is why uh, area equals to L into L equals to L square so I am not going to do that one I am going to derive the area of this square in terms of the diagonal so here is one diagonal and another is up to the midpoint of this diagonal draw another diagonal up to here so cut out this shape after this This is a square with one of the diagonal and half of another one up to the midpoint of previous diagonal. Draw the outline of this square in the sheet of paper. So for this one, look at the points to indicate the vertices and join them by ruler. You can name this square as ABCD and put the previous square on top of it. It fits exactly, they are congruent to each other. This is congruent to the shape drawn there. After this, you cut this one into pieces. and glue it, back side is blue, you glue it over there and twist it. And cut these also into two pieces. Now you have the square again. And now we are taking this one and fitting it over here, this way. We are rotating and fitting it. You know. So this also we can paste it with glue in order to make its position fixed. We can fit it over here. You know. And do the same thing this side also. Rotate and fit it here. For the explanation purpose, let me draw the half of the diagonal over there also. So this one is the previous square and it is another arrangement. Now the square is now transferred into the uh, rectangle. Let the name of this rectangle be A E F C. A E F C. After this, we'll just explain the procedure here and go to the generalization. For the generalization process, we have here the area of the square.
equals to area of the rectangle. Okay, and area of the rectangle is length into breadth. Length into breadth. And length is, let me say, this is EF and breadth is FC. And this FC is equal to dp let me say dp because it has cut out from there it is rotated this way so that this dp goes to cf or fc that's why i can write ef is ac and fc is dp and this ac is the same and this dp is half of the diagonal bd my construction I have said while I constructed this one up to the midpoint of this and this is half because the two diagonal bisect each other and in this one AC into half of this BD BD and AC are the equal diagonals that's why you can write in place of BD AC and this half comes to the first as the coefficient and AC and AC is AC square so that is half of the diagonal square. Therefore, area of the square abbreviated by the square symbol is this. This is the generalization we wanted to do it today. Thank you dear friends watching our video and keep viewing it for more interesting videos. Thank you.